Guys, guess what? I was checking his other unit and I found a uh, blowing leak. Um, I found my pressures was really low out there. I believe this is aluminum coil right here. Um, I'm not gonna be able to fix this. Gonna have to probably take it out to get it welded. So to me, it looked like it had rub on there over time. So it's good, I guess the do preventative maintenance is kind of crazy because I checked this unit last time and I late check didn't get no leaks pressures was in range so it's, I guess it's just in a matter of time how things just go because I my I thought my head had stopped up dryer but I seen my uh, suction in the vacuum and I started adding gas and my pressures went up my suction line started sweating and all that I say, yeah, it's low on gas. Got to be a leak either outside or at this evaporator. So, yeah, I end up finding it quick. It's blowing. Remove that coil, see if we can uh, get it repaired or see what they want to do. Should be able to be repaired and uh, just go from there. But that's going to be pretty much it. Um, I just talked about the condenser and I uh, seen that. I decided to show, I want to show y'all now. Um, it had rubber on the side of the drain pan. So it looked like the bracket of the coil wasn't even on like it was supposed to, which is pretty weird. I probably need to show that bracket sometime. Um, but the loop rubbed on it. So I'm gonna remove that. I think one part is flared and the other part is sweated. So I'm gonna get a adjustable on the other side and just cut the other side off. If y'all made it this far, man, I really appreciate you. Uh, if y'all haven't subscribed, I hope y'all consider subscribing. And I'll see y'all finna uh, get up here, remove this coil and uh, go for What's up guys, what's up guys? So. I mentioned in my other video uh, about a evaporator coil leaking. I also had showed the leak. Um, this is aluminum coil. I wish it was copper for me to weld it up, um, change the filter dryer out there, um, put in a good vacuum. Uh, but fortunately, I couldn't do that, so I had to remove the coil. Uh, this is a carrier unit. It's pretty old. Um, I believe this is just like a slab coil. Um, just a slab, like a concrete slab. Um, <clears throat> so I end up loosening up my flare nut. Uh, also, I could have sweated that line out, but I think it's best to go ahead and just cut it. Uh, don't want to bring all my welding equipment all the way up here, uh, just to unsweat the line if I could just cut it. Um, also, I went ahead and cut the drain line. Um, I felt like I had to in order to try to uh, move this coil out the way. And also I uh, loosened up any other possible uh, bolts on the other side. Y'all probably can't see, I probably should turn my flash on, but it's a pinhole right here that was leaking really bad. Um, it was rubbing on this uh, drain pin right here, the dention right there. Really can't see it, but it was up against it but <clears throat> uh let me see Maybe these uh the evaporator coils should have had something like this but it don't i guess it just helped keep the coil in place because that only the top side have it but not this one
All right, guys, so I finally got it out. It was kind of uh, difficult. I don't know if anybody worked on this type of unit. I was trying to see how can I move it without having to do too much extra, but I ended up getting it out. It's right there. Um, might be a pain getting it back in, but we'll see, man. I have to come back, get a coupling for that, and that line right there. See what they want to do with it. And uh, anytime you have to remove it, just cover it up with some uh, duct tape. Uh, same with the uh, coil right there. But. If I had an aluminum welder, I would have welded it right there and slapped her back in. But, uh, it's really gonna be pretty much a good carry old one. I wonder what year this is. Uh, I wonder what year. But this is how the outdoor unit was looking. Uh, like I said, I had recently did a video on uh, this unit right here. And I uh, found the discharge, well, the liquid uh, side around 100 PSI or maybe lower. And I was like, this can't be right in the suction was like in the vacuum. So uh, I thought my filter dryer was, you know, acting funky, so. I checked across here and uh, it was good. But uh, when I come back or uh, whoever, they need to change the dryer out. I'm gonna uh, make that on my paperwork. Uh, also list the uh, type of gas we have is R407C. Uh, R407C, uh, they pressures run about where R22 is. I think the suction shot should be around 70 PSI and maybe discharge should be like what, 275, 280, somewhere in that range, maybe a little higher um just a little bit uh finna clean up this area get that coil down from that cooler um place this back because i leaked check out here thinking i had a leak i was hoping i had a leak somewhere out here but i don't so i'm gonna just leave that unit off uh it's, like i said it's pretty strange when you check something and then you come back and it's uh something else it's pretty weird sometimes um it's just like if I'm at, say I'm all the way like some store that I, rent, I normally don't be at, I'll be in that area and a call from a store you never really heard because barely, rarely being calls there and it'd be a call there too, just right down the road from you. I'm like, dang, that's pretty weird. I'm already down here and I got a call. So it's pretty weird sometimes. Uh, but uh, anyway, I'm going to get it done. Probably have to drop it off in the morning. Uh, get my van service uh, oil change on there so yeah i'll probably come back and vacuum all that out i did it last time got compact so i might do it again i don't know who wired the compressor out like that but it's like that um I know when my pressure was low, I checked my compressor. Each leg was uh, drawing amp and I was hearing it. Uh, it's not good for a compressor to run in a vacuum and all that. Um, so, yeah. And they got this bad boy on there. I don't know if I should move that out. I ain't be no point. Most of the time when they put those in, that's when like a new installed system. So. Probably have this changed out too. Here's what I was thinking about because somebody said, would you normally change these out? I mean, me, honestly, I just changed these out. I mean, I've been with Tex plenty of times. We never had changed these out. Never had issues. Um, but I always change out a liquid dryer. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to put everything back.